Performance enhancing drugs are an illusion. I wish I had never did them. It was wrong. It was a mistake. This is a quote from renowned MLB player Mark McGuire, who in 1998 almost achieved the world record for most amount of home runs in an MLB season. Even though he almost achieved an impressive feat, he saw a significant increase in many health risks, such as increase in pancreatic, testicular, um, liver, and brain cancer, as well as heart disease. Good afternoon, I'm Lorenzo DiCalco. I'm Anthony John Court. I'm Gero Campos. And I'm Katrina Cashin, and this is the effects of steroids in further sports. Just a few examples of uh, long-term consequences on athletes is the negative health effects, the end of an athlete's career, legal issues, and unfair competition. The solution to this ongoing problem is the banning of steroids, as well as frequent drug testing for all athletes. steroids for two consecutive years. As a result, he suffered a stroke and ended up passing away. This shows the damage to his the impairment to his um, epitoral growth. problems and um, menstrual problems and for both male and female they will end up suffering a loss of brain activity and brain damage as a result. There are several consequences of taking steroids in a kind of sports. Just one example is an athlete being removed from their team. The graph here displays the amount of athletes in different countries who have been stripped of their Olympic medals as a result. According to this graph from the Journal of Sports Medicine, in 1993-2002, we saw a significant increase in the amount of MLB players who achieved 40 or more home runs in one season, as well as the average amount of home runs per season in the MLB. This is no coincidence, as 1993-2002 is considered to be the era of steroid use in the MLB, as we saw a significant increase in the amount of players testing positive and using steroids in competitive play, which is why you see the amount of home runs as steroids have amplified their performance and athletic capabilities, allowing them to achieve more home runs. This, of course, ruins the integrity of sports and competitive play as no longer is it a test of your talent or skills. It's more of how much steroids you're using, how well is your body able to handle those steroids and the amount you're using, which is allowing you to perform such uh, amount of tasks that you can be able to do otherwise without steroids. Um, here are some legal consequences. Um, cancer suspensions. If an athlete is caught doing steroids, um, the, the sports system can ban you for up to two years, depending on which sport you play and depending <coughs> on their what code it is. Um, also, if you are a very talented player, you can get endorsements or brand deals. And but uh, brands and endorsement deals have a have want to have a public image that is positive always and do not like any negativity towards them. So they can um, take their endorsement deal and revoke it from you. Um, also, some some codes um, can give you jail or fines up to $1,000 or $2,000, or you can go to jail for one year for the first offense or two years for the second offense. Um, athletes can, can get their trophies or their medals taken away from them 
if they are caught testing positive for steroids since it is unfair to other athletes that have competed without testing positive for it. And, yeah. um, the ending of careers. So several athletes who have gotten caught using steroids have ended up losing their careers as a result of it. One example is Marion Jones, who ended up using steroids, um, using testosterone to, to enhance her performance in the Olympics. As a result of this, she ended up not only losing her medals, she faced six months in jail. Um, she had to do 200 hours of community service, and she was put on a two-year suspension from any sports. Um, steroids <coughs> also res result in the loss of future opportunities, as many people see you using steroids, and as a result, they don't want to do anything with you. This is an article from the New York Times. It's about Dr. Robert Kerr, who was a respected um, net sports medical expert. Um, recent, in 1984, it was found out that he administered 20 athletes with steroids for the Olympics. Um, this just goes to show how steroid use can affect the health industry as a whole, because as a doctor, you're supposed to make you're supposed to look out for the better health of your patients and by administering steroids they not only made the playing field unfair to these athletes but they also put them in harm's way as you can see in this graph um, the highest number of uh, people that have done steroids are males from 18 to 24 years old which is when athletes have the peak of their of their career but the use of steroids can cause them to have a failure in the future and in their career since the use of steroids has a lot of consequences bringing into it. Um, the athletes can also cause problems for their coaches um, <coughs> when, they, when they're using steroids like damage to, to their professional reputation, investigation and in coaches, their future credibility, team program consequences and coaching opportunities. So to reiterate, the solution to fixing this uh, steroid issues in competitive sports is outright banning them and preventing any athletes from using them, and as well as doing testing on them to make sure they don't test positive for the use of steroids. <coughs> A limitation to this, however, is that some people, including athletes, need steroids. There are many instances as to why they would need steroids for any reason, such as delayed puberty, and also for their mental and health and physical well-being. So they need uh, steroids to use that. So in those very rare instances, the use of steroids would be needed, which would be considered one limitation of using steroids in better sorts. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, got your slide together? I'm gonna, I have a question for each of you. Benny, we'll start with you and then work your way across, all right? Um, Benny, if you had a fifth member of your team, what perspective could they have reached that would have been a helpful contribution to your presentation? I think that a perspective that I would have liked to see is a little more social because I feel like there's a lot of social aspects of um, steroid use that we didn't really cover as well. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, Lorenzo. Describe an argument from one of your peers' IRRs that makes you think differently about the solution that you guys came up with. Um, I think one that I, uh, we took into consideration uh, when we were discussing our solution is the um, health impacts as using steroids, it's not mostly just about the morality or the integrity of the game, but using steroids has major uh, repercussions on your health and it's very risky as steroids are a drug. So using them and looking at the health impacts <coughs> that steroids have had and have been reported to happen to athletes made us take into consideration our solution for fixing the steroid issue. All right, Gabe, um, what's a compelling argument from one of your team's IRRs that you decided not to use and why didn't you use it? Uh, from Katrina's argument, um, we didn't even use the part where she stated a lot of things about um, the doctor's part and stuff because it didn't really fit with the presentation of how we did it with the consequences. Okay. And save the best for last. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, reflecting on your colleague's work, which one had the greatest impact on your understanding of this problem that you outlined in your presentation? I think Evan 